Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the Weekly Contest 350 special permutations. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So the, for this one, the key thing to note is actually just, to be honest, um, the 14. And is equal to 14 or less than 14, so you can do a lot of things with this. You can just basically, well, brute force in a way, as long as you brute force a little bit smaller than 14 factorial. And the way to do that is with something called um, bit mass dynamic programming. And of course, it, it's a way fancy thing if you haven't done it before. If you have done it before, then maybe this is easier for you. I would say that if you haven't done it before, this is a very hard, very difficult medium. Um, and and honestly, if this was maybe even a year ago, maybe slightly longer, but not you know by that much, um, this would be a, a hard on a lead code contest. And now it's a medium. What does it say about the world? I don't know. But that said, a lot of people got it quickly, and I got it in about three minutes. Uh, so uh, do what do with it what you will. Right? This is the world. I'm just here to kind of let you know how I feel. <laughs> Anyway, so what do you need to know about this, right? Basically, you're trying to build a sequence, um, a sequence, and where this thing holds true. Um, so you only need the last number, right? Because as long as it holds, you know that you only add numbers that um, that already satisfied this. Then, then all your previous ones and all the future ones you don't have to worry about, right? So that's basically the idea. And bit mass dynamic programming is a fancy way of just saying uh, keeping a set, right? That's the way I like to explain it. But but basically uh, going for like a two minute thing because I, I I done, I've done this a lot. Uh, definitely maybe check out some of my older videos, uh, especially the Daddy Palm ones. Uh, I usually go over it a little bit more in detail. But yeah, but basically. The idea for this is to step back a second and ask yourself, what, what does brute forcing mean, right? Well, brute force in this case just means that there are 14 elements, and for each of those elements, you just keep a Boolean while you're ready to use them a lot. So then you have, maybe you have a used array where you, you have like force, force, true, force, true, force, so that you don't reuse the same one when you construct the, the permutation, right? Um, and of course, in this case, this means that... Uh, you know, one way they could condense it down is just by, you know, just replacing it by, by uh, maybe a string, say. I mean, you, you know. And now here you could be like, oh, let's replace it with binary true force instead, right? Maybe we could skip the last one. I don't know why I did it, right? And then now you'd be like, oh, wait, now we can represent this as a number, a binary number. So that's basically a bit mask. A bit mask is just something that is a boolean array that's how i always like to explain it and i feel like people are catching on and accepting this way of explaining as well uh i'm going to take all the credit for that one <laughs> no i'm just kidding but but no uh so yeah and, and so whenever you see people do bit mask this is all they're doing there's nothing fancy uh the only other thing is that if you do uh uh oh yeah all the other operations like if you see funky like masks da -da 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 -da, oh, whoops uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, or something like that, where right? it just basically you know checks to see bits. Uh, you could rewrite this, for example, as equal to if uh, used of i. Uh, this is you know is equal to used of i is equal to true or something like this, right? So there, there are other things that there are other bit uh, bit wise operations, but that's really the per uh, tricky part about it. And then after that. <coughs> It's just basically, like I said, you, you keep track of the last is the last element in the permutation. And mass is equal to, like we said, the, uh, the used uh, 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 Boolean vector, right? And that's pretty much it. Basically, if they're all ones, then we return one because um, that's a rather count. Otherwise, we, we go, right? We count uh, for, for every number if we haven't used it yet. Then we check to the condition to see if it's good. If it's good, then we set the, the bit or setting that value to true. Uh, and then that's it. And then we just kind of sum up all the counts. And in the beginning, sum up all the counts again. And that's all she will. Uh, yeah. And remember to mod, of course. Hmm, what happened? Oh, screensaver. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And you could watch me sub and live in the contest. Now.
<coughs> permutation is special if oh, I didn't even read the poem. I was just looking at examples. You guys, do that. Okay, mod, 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 mod. All right. Um, if okay, so th there's only fourteen, so it's probably just like a bit masking. So let's do it. Um, so do 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 do. Um, oops. Uh, so the last number and index. Oh, yeah, last number and the mask. Bit mask. Mask. Yeah. Okay. So if. Uh, which way are we doing? Yeah. More return one. Otherwise, then just find the range of n if I'm so my thumb sub last is usual. Uh, cannot type today then. That should be it. But, I mean, I should cat, uh, memorize. I'm doing too many videos and not remembering this stuff. Hmm. I guess it'll be nice to actually call the function. And of course, it'll be nice to do the mod, which is why I had that. Thanks, past Larry and silly mod song. Hmm, recursion. Wait. Oh, I forgot to check. Forgot to check. Forgot to check. Do 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 do. Um, Where is sloppy today? She feels like I usually. Get this pretty quickly. Hopefully, not time limit exceeded. It shouldn't be, but leak code you never know. All right. Uh, that used to be a hard. Now it's just a medium. Uh, maybe it was a hard. I don't even. I didn't wasn't. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and this explanation or this contest in general. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. I'll see y'all later. And take care. Bye bye.